turning now to an Israeli photographer who has made it her mission to document women around the world. Lily Almog series have looked at Carmelite nuns, minorities in China, and more recently members of an ultra-Orthodox Jewish sect sometimes referred to as the Jewish Taliban. Our culture correspondent Maya Margit met with Almog on her latest somewhat controversial work. Modesty. What does it mean to be covered? What is it like to be a woman in a public space? And how does religion come into play? These are just some of the questions Israeli photographer Lili Almog asks in her latest series called The Space Within, recently on show at the Tower of David Museum in Jerusalem. The topic of this work is actually um, of the covered woman. It's a general look on what's happening in religion of today. The women in the space within are modeled after those in Lev Tahar, an extremist Jewish sect in which women cover themselves from head to toe. The outfit resembles a burqa, which is why Lev Tahar are sometimes referred to as the Jewish Taliban. Almog is hoping exhibition goers can re-examine their own preconceived notions about female modesty. I got inspired from seeing a very religious uh, Jewish woman dressed on in, all in black in a Hasidic neighborhood in Jerusalem, which I thought at the beginning that she was Muslim, and then I realized that she's actually Jewish. Branded a dangerous cult by an Israeli court, Lev Tahor has remained isolated since it was formed in the 1980s. Its members adhere to an austere form of Judaism and reject Zionism. They've had several run-ins with the law. In 2014, most of the members fled from Canada to Guatemala after being accused of child abuse and neglect by Quebec's superior court. Almog traveled to Guatemala, where many had settled and met with the group. But the women of Left Tahor were not comfortable being photographed, so the artist decided she would use models instead. I'm not really a documentarist, so I used it as an inspiration, and I used model to convey my ideas or what I want to say. The conclusion of the show is a big box covered with a black curtain. When visitors pull back the curtain, they're in for a surprise. When you open the curtains, you can see yourself. Then when you see yourself, maybe you can understand the other. A chance to reflect on the limits of women's privacy, public space, and religion, in all modesty. Well, uh, Maya Margit is in the studio with us. And let me ask you about uh, her, this photographer's encounter with that left to horse sect. And why, when they refused uh, to be photographed, did she decide to use models, which breaks with her previous work, it seems? Well, she decided she wanted to create a series about this. She's very interested in religion and how religion impacts on women's lives, especially with regards to modesty and dress. So she became very interested in them when she uh, encountered them in Jerusalem, actually. She did travel to Guatemala, but they were not very friendly. It's a very insular community. They're very paranoid. They don't trust the media. They don't trust people who are not from their own community. Uh, but she did say that she managed to be, befriend some of the women there and that they were very nice and normal when she spoke to them. They just never felt comfortable enough to be photographed and they'd be part of this kind of artistic project just because of how insular the community is. A group called by some the Jewish Taliban begs explanation. Explain a little bit more of who they are and why they are so controversial. Well, the word left to itself means pure heart and it's a sect that's relatively recent. It started in the 1980s by Rabbi Shlomo Helbrand, who, by the way, was found drowned in Mexico just this past July, the leader of the cult. Uh, and uh, basically what happened is they are considered very controversial because they're so closed off from everyone around them. They go, they're a much more extreme and fringe kind of ultra-Orthodox Jewish community. They, uh, they've had many different kinds of, uh, you know, controversies including some related to child abuse and neglect in Canada which is why they fled to Guatemala there are reports that they in, in fact fled to Mexico after leaving Guatemala because they were rejected by communities there and they reject Darwinism they reject evolution they were the children from the age of three the boys have to have their heads shaved every single week the girls from the age of three have to be covered from head to toe in these black fabrics that we saw uh, the boys are educated to become scholars so they study the Torah the Old Testament every day the girls are meanwhile taught domestic duties and they have to get married at a very young age. Uh, it's a very kind of uh, religious and closed off community. Incredible story. Maya Margate, incredible images too. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful. Thanks. Thank